everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Good Owl Games, the place where I love to share with you, well, some great games. Um, normally it's board games and today we're taking a bit of a side adjunct into that. I thought I would introduce you to something that I just picked up myself um, and this is the very heavy ooh, Blood Bowl. Ooh, and this is the season, second season edition. Um, so those of you who know me know I normally um, review board games and recently I've been getting into miniatures and enjoying the painting and such like that and while I have played games from Games Workshop before, um, I've played Warhammer, I've played 40k, I've played Mordenheim, you know, I've tried a bunch of things. Um, I really wanted to get some miniatures that came in a box that were a complete set and that I could learn to paint online. Um, and Blood Bowl is one of the few franchises I've not tried yet. So what's Blood Bowl about? Let me tell you, this is gonna be a bit of a mix of an unboxing slash first impressions. So yeah, enjoy that as you will. Um, I'm sorry for, I just, this is the first time actually I've ever recorded something just at my desk. Ignore the holes in my wall. I assure you they had a purpose and you might notice just how low my regular recording chair is um, simply by how low everything in the background is. I'm actually at my desk. Okay, so let's get back to this, what this first impressions is. So Blood Bowl, as far as I'm aware, is a type of fantasy football and it kind of pokes fun at American football. So there are teams, you pick up a ball, you get it to the end zone to score points. Um, and because it's Blood Bowl, yeah, there's fighting and there's blood and you can kill players and stuff too. Um, I don't know a whole bunch about it yet, but I have a good number of impressions from what I've heard about it and what's in the box. And I'm mostly going to talk about what I thought of what was in the box. Um, so first things first, this is quite a pricey game to pick up. This was a uh, hundred and five euros, or whatever you want to call that in other money. Um, it was a lot to play for a game. So let's talk about what you get in the box. Um, so first thing to note is, yeah, it's a big box. It's going to be the weirdest unboxing of all time. So yeah, it's a big box. I do like the fact that it's you know shiny on the front. You have some very cool looking artwork. So in this box, you get to play as a human team. Or the other side, or humans or as orcs, um, according to the box. And on the back of the box, it names some of the characters, tells you a little bit about this fantasy football. Um, and it makes it sound really fun and entertaining, right? It sounds like, you know, damage in the easiest way. So inside the box, what are you expecting? Well, I was expecting miniatures. I completely forgot that Games Workshop do miniatures that don't come assembled. So... I think for some people, this is part of the fun, right? Of the hobby of assembling miniatures. So there are two teams. They come in greens, so some big pieces, and then some kind of pieces. It looks like there are extras and extra bits of whatnot for you to kind of design your team by. So these are the orcs. Um, and of course they're green. Um, and I quite, I don't know, I'm not looking forward to assembling these. I'm not gonna lie, but they look cool when they're put together. So some people, you know, more into this one than me will enjoy it. I don't like sprues. I don't like having to pick them out. And then of course there is the red team, which is the humans. You get this many sprues. Um, I have to say, I like how the human team look. They have a real name. What's their name? The Imperial Nobility Team, I think it is. It's a bit of an odd title, um, but I did like that they had kind of shiny headdresses which is kind of cool. Um, and at least one of these has like a falcon on his arm. So I was kind of interested in that. Um, my initial quest was just wondering, was there any female characters in this game or in this box even? And it turns out there is one, the Imperial the, um, team has a lady on it, which is nice. Um, Cause you know, you want to have someone to root for, um, but no, none of the orc things, but I think orcs are kind of genderless. Or so I've been led to believe. All right, so that's this. So the next patch, what did I do the other one? See, I've opened this box already, right? But I was kind of excited about it, so I thought I'd share it with you. Oh, I have one more bit of green. Like, look at that, lads. There's just, like, so many bits. Where do they go? Um, I guess there's instructions. It's always good. And you've got two referees in the box who come in blue. Woohoo! And they also need assembly. One of them is a dwarf who has a giant book on his back, which I thought was kind of fun. Like, the game seems to have a bit of humour to it, right? It's, I think it's a game that doesn't take itself too seriously. So then you get a sheet of measuring things. So I assume you cut these off and then that's how far the ball goes or that's how far it scatters. Because, you know, football and sport is never straightforward. Um, so I do like some of that part that there's somewhat, like none of this is predictable. So then this is my favorite part of the whole box. 
look at that. You get a chart of all of the different Blood Bowl teams. Um, and I'm going to rate them in a little minute um, by which ones I think are the coolest based on the picture. Not on actual information because I haven't played with them all yet. But I do like the fact there was choices and you can pick up extra armies to play with. And they're relatively inexpensive for Warhammer models. They're like 30 euros each for the other kind of teams. And so you could pick up something like you really liked. So then we get dice. I love dice. There are one for, you know, each side. And there's a D16 dice, which I thought was interesting. Um, and a dice that will determine, you know, if you can knock people over or all that kind of stuff um, that are unique to Blood Bowl as a whole. And of course, all of those miniatures need a lot of bases. Um, I do like the Games Workshop games have a tendency to give you like extra bits of things. So there'd be extra bits in the sprue. I'd be surprised if there wasn't an extra base or two as well. Now, the next thing to really impress me is the rule book, because I completely forgot that to play this game, you would need a book of rules, not just like a little pamphlet, like a, a tome. Um, and as any of you um, familiar with GW products will know, is that to buy the rule book is normally quite expensive and it doesn't come with the game, which always seemed like a weird thing to me. But so the rule book's in the box, so I assume that's half of the price there. Um, this rule book is really, really nice. It's embossed on the front. It comes with one of these thingies. So you can mark the page where you were. It has an index and some beautiful illustrations. Hang on, we'll get to somewhere where there is a beautiful illustration. That is not a beautiful illustration. I don't know what I've got against halflings. But like, you know, the book looks like this. And I find it really endearing and inviting. I love the font choice. Like it looks fun, like it feels fun. Um, and I, it seems like easy enough to follow, like that you would pick this up pretty fast. Um, and if you don't, see there's something else um, that was also impressed me. Um, for once, they've given us cheat sheets and one for each player. And I was like, that's a good thing. So you have everything you need to know with you. <laughs> Just open up, right? So there are quite a number of rules, but games with miniatures and dice have a tendency to have a number of rules. But if you've played one, you've kind of played them all. So you should pick it up, I think, pretty handily. I don't expect to do particularly well at this, by the way. Um, my, my husband knows how to play, but I don't. Um, so, you know, we'll figure it out as we get there. But I like that this was here. I think this feels very welcoming as a new game, as something I'm not familiar with. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I like that it's all here, including, oh, here we go. So there's a guide to assemble your miniatures for people like myself. Um, and look, it lists what you need and how to put everybody in there together. So yeah, if you're into Legos, good. And then the very last thing is the only thing I've not actually opened yet. Actually, I actually have two things down here apparently. So there are boards. So this board is the dugout for your team, as far as I'm aware. Um, so this is where injured players will go. You keep around your turns, how many rerolls and stuff you have, you've won each. And then the other side is a pitch. So it's like the American football pitch. I won't open all the way up because you can imagine how big it is. And that's obviously what we're going to play on. And then my favorite part, I said this like three times what my favorite part was, but I was really excited. I got transfers. Look, you get little stickers to put on your guys. Um, and I thought that was just so nice. I thought it was a really nice touch because I can't paint all of these things. So that's everything that's in the box. Feels like a lot, or maybe not a lot. I don't know what you, it depends what you were expecting. I was expecting less, so maybe it was more. Um, but now we're gonna get to Nettie's Blood Bowl team ranking section. And I hope you'll play along at home with me. So we're gonna start with the, the team that's in the box, who are the Imperial Nobility team. Whoops, straighten it up for you. So as you can see there, these are humans, mostly humans, with very fancy goldy headdresses. I'm not totally excited by their title. Um, and they are just humans after all. But I do like their shiny armor and their funky headdresses. So I'm gonna give them a rating of three out of five in excitement levels. Five is like, this is my favorite thing. Okay, so now the other team in the box, I believe is the Black Orc team. So we'll get them up there. There we go, Black Orc team. Whoop, I'm really bad with this when I haven't planned any of it. Um, okay, so orcs, what do we know about them? As far as I know, they're green, they're tough, they're not very smart, is that right? Um, that's how I would assume it. They've got some kind of tiny goblins, I think, on their team as well, which kind of look cute, but mostly they look kind of tough and strong. Um, coolness factor, mm, I'm gonna give them a, a two. I'm not overly hyped to play them. 
Um, even if they are in the box, I might give them a go. But um, they just seem like big muscle kind of armoured guys. Mm. Okay, so there's the two in the box, right? So we'll go around everything else very quickly. Halfling team. Here we go. Halfling team. I'm not a big fan of halflings. I'm sorry, you know, the Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. But there's something about them, like, are they half human? Are they full human? Like, what are they half of exactly? I don't know. They just make me a little suspicious. And also, they're very tiny. So, next down. I'm bad with this camera thing, sorry. The dwarf team. Now, the dwarves actually look really cool. Um, normally, I don't find dwarves all that interesting to myself. Um, but these ones are kind of cool. One of them at least has two beards. Look at it. All flaily. They look very majestic. I just realised I never rate the halfling team. I'm giving them one. Or a, no, I'm giving them a half out of five. The dwarf team probably on a three, actually. I think they're kind of interestingly cool. Okay, the goblin team. Whoop. Here we go. Come on, I can't do this in reverse. Okay, so the goblin team then um, look all kind of small and all in suits. You know, for goblins, you think they'd be a bit more fun. I don't know, I thought they'd be up to something wacky. Goblin team, one out of five. Okay, now, this is where I might get excited if I could do this in the right way around. There we go. So we have, why is this so hard to do? Okay, the snotling team. Now, this is kind of cool, because as you can see, they have little wagons. I'm like, who gave them wagons, these little snarlings? They also have a guy on crutches, which I found hilarious, and some guys that are riding around on a giant ball, and some of them are throwing a rock. I think the snarling team looks awesome. I would really love to try that out. I bet they're wacky and crazy and probably terrible, but I'm giving them a five of coolness factor. Okay, then, I go down. Whoop, I'm going all the wrong way. There we go, to the dark elf team. Um, and so, with the Dark Owls, they look kind of evil, all right. And they do seem to have a lady or two, which I liked a lot. But beyond that, they look kind of plain, don't they? Like, there's nothing really exciting there. So I'm going to get a two out of five. Okay, so next across is my shambling undead team. Whoops, there we go. And these have all sorts of cool and weird things in it, like, you know, skeletons and stuff. Um, they don't look like they're super fighty, but they do look like they're kind of fun. So I'm going to give them a four on the Shambling Undead team. Now, the Lizardman team is here. And I used to play Lizardman when I played um, Warhammer Fantasy. They were my favourite faction. And this doesn't actually look all that special to me. Despite absolutely loving Lizardmen, looks like they just kind of changed their poses a bit and threw in some skinks. Not overly impressed with that, but I'm going to give them a three anyway because, you know, I like Lizardmen. All right, here is my top pick um, out of all of Blood Bowl. And these are the Necromantic Horror Team, mostly because they have a ghost and someone who is a scarecrow and someone who's wearing a pumpkin on their head. These, This team wins all, all ties. I think they just look awesome. Okay, so if we've done this one, we're gonna go across to the humans. I'm gonna swap my hands in a second. So the humans um, look just like humans. Aren't humans just like the bog standard average? Yeah, average. So we'll give humans like two out of five. And then we've got the orc team. And the orc team, I think, uh, looks better than the black orc team. And I think it's just because I like their red armor. So I'm going to get a three out of five just for armor. Then we've got the Nurgle team, who are clearly like poisonous-y stuff. Not sure how exciting any of that is. Um, I do really like the way they're painted, though. So that's kind of fun. Um, so they will get a three out of five of me. Then we get the Elven Union team. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Um, and these just look like super sports stars, right? Now, the elves do have ladies, which is also a bonus. So they're going to get like two out of five. And then you got wood elves. Now, wood elves look kind of interesting. Yet again, they're in like jumpsuits. So what's going on with the elves? I'll give them a two out of five as well. So what have I missed? I've missed the Skaven team anyway. I think I've missed this whole row here in the middle. Yeah. So, the Skaven team then, um, I, th I actually really like how the rats look. I think the rats look super, super fun. Um, I love their big capes, so that's four out of five for the rats. The ogre team is cool because at least one of the ogres is not just white. Um, so that's kind of cool. I wonder what the small guys with them are doing. I'm a bit baffled by this myself. Why would they be there? So I'll give them a three out of five. So then we've got the chaos chosen team well they are the chosen i look kind of like their armor i think their armor is going to be three out of five and i think that is everything on the entire board 
So yeah, which team was your favourite? Which one would you want to play or did you think looks coolest? Um, and I would also love to know if you already play, which team do you think I should pick up next? Clearly I'm a fan of Ghosts, so that was kind of fun. Um, but I like the fact that you can kind of customise your game and play who you want. Um, I wonder if any of them are any good. <laughs> Probably not. So yeah, so thanks for joining me for this kind of introducing um, of Blood Bowl second season edition. Yeah, I was looking down to read the tale. Um, and I hope you guys got to learn a little bit about it. Um, I'm sure I'll be back to report more about how my games of it go and possibly how my painting goes as well. So um, tune in for that again in the future. Um, please do like or subscribe to the channel if you like what I do. Um, tell me what you think about this format. This is kind of new to me. Yeah, I'm literally just making this on the cuff without a script, which is odd. Um, and tune in again next time for some more um, board game reviews and just board game chit chat. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care. Bye bye.